A couple of days ago, I received a package from Joplink. The model of this product is EC3750. I don't know if you have heard of Joplink yet. It's, it's a newcomer here on these kinds of products. So they sent me one so that I can show it to you guys. This is a small device that can fit, like you can see my hand right now, I can hold it like that. Okay, it can be an access point. It could be a repeater, it could be a router. I'm going to uh, show you what's inside the box and how can we set it up, okay? Here's your job link. It's Wi-Fi range extender, but like what I've said, it can do three things. That's your repeater, access point, and router. So open the box. This is it. It's uh, very simple and uh, that's its own advantage. You have your light indicators there. And then at this bottom, you have a uh, switch port and the one link. Then on the side, you have the turn on off button. So you can turn this one manually. Then on the other side, you have the mode setting, which is access point, router and repeater. So you can choose which one you're going to use this device for. Let's go ahead and see we have customer service card. Then we have a manual that it states how you can use the device. So if you've been long enough in the router world, you know what you're doing there. But if not, you can just go ahead and follow the instructions. Then let's go ahead and plug this one into the WAN link. Turn it onto access point mode. Let's try the access point mode. There you go. It powered up right away. So I'll open my phone. You can use your phone. You'll connect to the access, I mean the SSID that is preloaded. So I'll just connect to the 5G. You can see there job link. It's connecting right now. So it's connected. Then let's try and do a quick speed test. Speed test. There you go. Run this speed. Uh, you can see how fast I did set up this device without any configuration yet. So if you want to add more configuration, we need to visit the dashboard of this access point. So open your browser again, then type in router that joplink.com. So this is how you can access this device. We can change the passwords, set some settings like a router if you have been accessing a router before. The default username of this device is admin admin. So admin login, then here you go. It's prompting me to change my password, but I'll just leave it as is. I want to see what are the things that we can do here. So very cool interface, simple. You can manage this device through Wi-Fi settings. You'll have a setting for AP wizard. Uh, this is the part you're going to change the SSID if you want to you can set a password because by default the SSID for this job link uh, The network doesn't have any password. So it's up to you to set this one up So if you've been following my YouTube channel, I know that you know about routers and access points. So Just kind of show showing you how you can what are the things that we can do here? Hmm, and I'm, I'm really surprised how simple like what I've mentioned earlier. It's very easy. You just plug and go. There you go. So I'm not going to save it since this is only a test. You can also see that you have LAN settings. You can change the IP address if you want to. Now, the price range of these devices are around $35, $36. I checked in on Amazon and I think with this kind of feature set, it's a good buy. So if you're trying or planning to get one, I also have a link on the description below. It's an Amazon referral link. If you're going to use that link, it's going to help this channel grow. Okay, I hope you like this video guys and see you in my next video. Goodbye.